This tutorial video will assist you in the setup and installation of your Roland DWX-50 dental milling machine. After unpacking the machine by following the instructions located on the box, you'll need to find your accessories kit. In the box you will locate the following accessories which will assist you in your completion of the setup process. Once you place the DWX-50 on a sturdy working surface, you can open the top front cover and the lower front cover. You're going to need to locate the three blue shipping brackets located on the top holding the spindle. The second one is going to be near the automatic tool changer holding the fixture and jig. And the bottom one will hold the entire fixture and jig as well from moving. Once you've placed your DWX-50 in its resting position, Locate the hex wrench that comes with the accessories and begin to remove the retaining screws holding the blue shipping brackets in place. Be sure to keep track of these brackets. You will need them if you ever move the machine in order to keep the machine from damage during shipping. It's very important not to misplace these shipping brackets. If you ever need to ship or move your unit to a new location, you will need to replace these into their original position, holding the spindle and fixture in place. For easy storage, the lower rear panel of the DWX-50 has three separate slots that you will find for easy installation and storage of the shipping brackets when not in use. Next you will insert the dust collection hose into the hole on the front right side of the machine. We also recommend grounding the wire to the Phillips head screws located in the same position. Next, slide the dust collection tray underneath the machine between the two rubber feet. You are now ready to attach the air regulator to the machine. To do this, first locate and loosen the securing screws on the right side of the machine that allows the recess on the rear of the regulator to fit over the screws. Once the retaining screws have been loosened up enough to fit the recessed portion of the regulator over them, slide it into place and then retighten the securing screws to be sure that the regulator is securely fastened to the machine. Once the regulator is securely fastened, run the polyurethane tubing from the back of the machine through the tube holder and securely place it in the quick connect portion of the air regulator, making sure that you press it firmly into place to create a flush airtight seal. The next step is to plug in your power cord into the outlet located just below the main power switch. Using the software CD that comes with your machine, Run the software package and install your Windows driver first. Do this by clicking on the install button and clicking the install option on the driver setup. In the model, be sure you choose the DWX50 machine in the drop down and you will be connecting this through a USB port. So make sure your port is USB before you hit start to follow the wizard through the setup process. At this time, the unit should be powered off and the USB cable should not be plugged in. Once you finish the setup wizard for the driver, your next step is going to be to the install the V panel or virtual panel for the DWX50. Simply click on install and follow the wizard through that process as well. Once completed, you'll install the last DWX50 manual, which is the electronic version. Once everything is complete, you should locate your V panel or virtual panel in the program section in your computer. When you open it up, 
there will be no machine until you do plug in the USB port for the DWX50. You're now ready to connect your USB cable from your computer to the DWX50. Once you plug in to the left rear USB port of the machine, you can power on your DWX50 at the main switch. At this point, you will notice your device driver being installed successfully, and the DWX50 will show up as a ready status in your virtual panel. Next, you will need a vacuum system and an air compression system that meet the specifications listed on the spec sheet in your documentation for the machine. Once you have your air compression system, take your polyurethane tubing, it needs to be 6 millimeters, press it in flush into the regulator's quick connect valve, making sure there is no air leaks. And finally, you will place the calibration pin included with your accessories in tool slot number 5 where you will then run the calibration program from your DWX software. Before the calibration, you will run the spindle run-in by clicking on the settings tab in virtual panel. Then you'll go to your maintenance tab. You'll see the run-in button. You click on that and click OK. It could take up to 60 minutes for this process to finish. After completing the run-in process, you're now ready to calibrate your machine. To do this, click on the correct magazine and correct rotary access button, and then click start. During this process, the spindle will pick up the calibration pin out of the tool holder and make several measurements throughout the fixture, and then replace the pin once it is finished calibrating. To complete the tool installation process, you need your hexagon driver, a tool positioning fixture, and the correct size dental burr. Start by screwing the hexagon screw into the tool holder collar partially. You're then going to insert that into the tool positioning fixture with the magnet side down, being sure to seat it within the recess. Slide the tool into the collar, making sure to pay attention to the tip and tail positioning holes. Tighten the hexagon screw down, be sure that it's firmly fastened, and you're finished with the tool installation. By following all these instructions, you should now be ready to begin milling with your DWX50.